Now the Michigan man, Jake Moody, to get us started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And Greg Dorch now to return it. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Cardinals making their way out, and it's the number one overall pick in 2019, Kyler Murray at the helm. And when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center, it not only opens up your playbook, it allows you to draw up even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If flushed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. I wonder. Right to the air, here's Murray. And incomplete to open things up. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense, and it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Play action, now it's Murray. He's going deep for Brown. And that's caught inside the 35. A huge play there for Arizona. 48 yards. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Throwing now is Murray. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Carter. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, they try to swing it out left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Watching him try to take away that area of the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing again, Murray. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. Fourth down, Murray off. And the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. Prater's kick is good. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. I think we can safely say they came out to be aggressive on the opening series, Charles. They didn't run the ball once. All that passing, it does get them the three to nothing lead. I think what we saw there, partner, is a true definition of football balance, which means doing what you want to when you want to on offense. And in this case, it was throwing the football. They may mix in running the football a little bit more as this game goes on. But this opening drive, while it stalled out, it still gave them three points. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here are the Niners now to get their first drive. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever. From Iowa State, it's Brock Purdy. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. 
What a pickup this man was last year. It's Christian McCaffrey. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Three yards on the gain. They're going to need to do better on this next play. It'll be third and 12. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run. Probing now early to try and get things done later. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second down and three. McCaffrey running up the middle. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. You don't see that in ton, do you, with the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Purdy's throw taken in by Samuel. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 32-yard line. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Shotgun now with Purdy. A quick throw there is incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. The throwing here, Purdy. The tight end, Kittle, has it on the left side. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle, 32 yards. And the 49ers have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown.
Get something together. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And it's a pretty good return here, so he'll get this up to the 29. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Give him 32 on the play. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Shotgun snap and a give to Carter. Down at the 35. It'll be second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 35, here's second and six. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm. And nowadays, we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws. But he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. Trey Greenlaw in there on the tackle. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second and five. Murray now. He's got McBride here over the middle. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Out of the gun, they run with Carter, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either called pressure or what I like to call straight-ahead pursuit, a great read, and they get to the backfield and make the play. And that was a big chunk of your... And did he get the feet down? Yes! Touchdown! Trey McBride from 10 yards out. And the Cardinals are able to move back in front. Oh, such great concentration there, going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet inbounds. There are so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. 
Prater for the extra point. And the lead is now 10 to 7. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. On first down, Purdy got a man. That's Ayuk. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And from the 34, here's second and four. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Purdy now to throw. Incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now a give, right side McCaffrey. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Here's Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps, and delivers a big play here for this offense. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey, a five-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have taken the lead. Well, the big play prior to this one got him down there, and they're able to stick it in on the very next snap. And I think those last two plays, that's what you're talking about, balance, right? Big pass play, puts him in position, turn right around and hand it off, and you've got a running play that finishes it off in the end zone. Moody good with the extra point, and the lead is now 14 to 10. A drive that time of six plays, and the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. 
Now Greg Dortch going to bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second and six. To throw is Murray. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Murray. He's got a man complete. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 30 yards there, and of course, the first down as well. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game, and they hit that one there for big yardage. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Murray now running left off the option. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On first and 10, it's Carter. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Second and seven. Here's Murray. And that's to Michael Carter out of the backfield. Touchdown, Cardinals! Michael Carter, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have yet again retaken the lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Extra point good by Prater. And it's now 17-14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was finished off by a Michael Carter touchdown reception.
And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Taken at the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 11 yards for number 11. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. First down now, but that clock rolling. Purdy from the gun. He's got Ayuk once again. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Broke yeah, up. he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw, Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's second and seven. Purdy sets up to throw again. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And this is going to be incomplete. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will tie things at 17-all. Now maybe a nice psychological boost there just to get back to even with that field goal as we head towards half. Coaching 101 always says at halftime, play it like it's 0-0 on the scoreboard. Well, in this case, it's level, right? Same score each side. Just start over. Now you get the second half to play. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission.
As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and he's able to get this across the 20 but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21 and the 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? 61 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed. Not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now a second and two. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Two yards, good enough for a first. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Purdy off the play fake. And that one too wide and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Oh, let's turn it up. Now a second and ten. Purdy looking to throw. Open man is Juwan Jennings. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. 
They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he is going to have a Niners first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. On first down, this is McCaffrey. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Here now, second and four. Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal. But you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now Purdy. He's into the secondary. Touchdown! Debo Samuel. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. Now Moody for the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's Debo Samuel who caps things with a touchdown reception. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. But Charles, you and I said at intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored. Now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. On second down, a run with Carter. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing now is Murray. And that's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. 
Murray a give. This is Connor. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A gain of 10, first down, Arizona. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well, too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Right back to Connor here on first. Room here to run. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that, that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Again, it's Connor. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. 49 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10, at their own 17-yard line. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And good yardage as he gets this one up to about the 23. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? 
That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. From the 35, back to work on second and four. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. McCaffrey on the counter. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Second down and six now. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you gotta just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now second and nine. They'll toss this out right for Connor. Fights through him, shedding the tackle. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. And this is caught. He hits more. A huge play there for Arizona. 44 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Middle of the field, he finds Pascal. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the 32-yard line now, here's a second down and six. They run behind center with Connor. There's a nice move. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a game of 16, first and 10. Oftentimes, broken tackles are his specialties. And <laughs> put another one on his tally there. Yeah, no doubt about it. One-on-one, -on -one, not likely to get him down. You need everyone else to get there and help you. 
I think they were signaling for you and I to jump on the pile and try and get him down, weren't they? You don't want me out there, I promise you. On first and ten is Connor. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 81 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal, looking to take the lead here in the late going. They'll run with Carter, and he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Connor is in. Touchdown, Arizona. This is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Prater for the extra point, And they will take a seven-point lead. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This taken in at the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. I don't see any flags, Charles. And in the final stages, the return touchdown has him an extra point away from tying this up. You're exactly right. The field is clean. It's going to count. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow. The extra point try now for Moody. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent. The return excellent. The result, six points. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he returns this to the 22. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked his special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback in his offense. 
They know where the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Murray to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and ten now. Now Murray. A throw to the flat for Carter. Well, that answers the question in my head. They're going to go for the win right now. I think you're absolutely right. They're not content with going to OT. They'll come to the line now on a third and six. To throw is Murray. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation, and now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made, in my estimation. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Arizona. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. This is first and ten. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And some room to roam now. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. Here's first down. To throw is Purdy. Here we go, this to avoid overtime. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the game will continue for at least one more play. Could not finish a game on a defensive penalty. That's why they get one more untimed attempt. And his kick is good. He knocks through his third field goal of the game, and this one is the one that decides it. And Union Street will be hopping tonight. The 49ers have won it. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did, and just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.